Hey artists, we're going to be talking about Peru today. And there is an amazing animal in Peru, and that is the llama. We're going to draw our own llamas, and in the background, we're going to try to draw some Peruvian-inspired art, thinking about the wonderful weavings and textiles in Peru. Follow along with me, and I'll show you all the steps. All right, friends, to get started, we are going to draw our little llamas. And in order to do that, you want to grab your pencil and your white paper. I like to start in the middle of the paper and kind of make like a little heart shape. And you're going to be like, what is she drawing? But their nose kind of looks like this short little wide heart. So put that there in the middle. And then the next thing we're going to do is put like a little U shape here and a little U shape here. That's kind of where their little mouth starts. And then underneath, we're gonna put another little U shape that connects them. So that's where his little mouth is. Then on the sides of this, we're going to put just kind of a little C shape on this side that goes over the top of that nose and a little C shape on this side. And that gives us the nose shape. The next thing we're gonna do is draw along their um, body. Now they have this really long neck, so we're going to draw two kind of bumpy lines going down to show the neck. So we're going to go straight down like this, just kind of a bumpy line going all the way down the paper. And we're going to do that on both sides. Bumpy line coming all the way down the paper. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is give this llama some big old llama ears. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna draw it a little darker. So it's kind of like a bumpy line and a bumpy line coming down the side, showing that long llama neck. Now, we're gonna draw some big old ears kind of above, I'd say at least two finger spaces above that nose. And these ears go out like a big kind of C-shape. And then they curve at the top, so curve it, curve it, and then it's gonna come in and kind of over, in and then back out and over. Now on top of their head, they have some kind of wild hair. It's like they just woke up and had a really wild hair day. So we're just putting some of that wild hair, just again, almost like, it looks like a W shape I'm drawing. W, 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 and there's that wild hair. Now we have this wonderful looking llama that he can't see. Let's put some eyes on here. We're gonna look for like a lemon kind of almond, maybe football shape. So it goes over and then on this side kind of under, there we go. If you have dogs at home, you know what you are hearing at my house is some crazy dogs, and I'm going to have to put them outside. Okay, so once you have that shape, I want you to put a little circle inside to show that shine in his eye, and then we can kind of color that part in. And we'll use marker on top, but that way you can just kind of see what your eyes are looking like. They have really, really dark eyes. And then they also have these really big eyelashes. So you're just gonna take your pencil and maybe put three lines like that. And they all do, they just have a lot of fur. They're very furry and they have this furry area right here. And now you have drawn your llama. You might also put that inside part of their ear that's open. So I just kind of trace around and come down. Trace around and come down. All right. Step one is complete. You have drawn your llama. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do is get out your black marker. All right, now that you have your black marker, the first thing we're going to do is just outline this. So we're going to go around the edge with that bumpy line all the way down. And on this side too, and I can still see the pencil mark, but it really, it doesn't matter. You can erase it if you want, but I leave it because I think it leaves some cool extra texture. 
and I'm just outlining all the black lines here. That wild hair inside the ear. Just outline all your lines with your black marker. Okay, now when we do the nose and we outline this part, I like to add just turning this part, like the bottom half of the nose black, and then going along that line and this line, just filling them all in. And then we're gonna fill in those eyes too. There we go. Leaving that little white space. And now that really kind of brings him to life. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is just grab your pencil really quick. And we're gonna draw a curve, very light curve line around where the face kind of enters the neck. And we're gonna just draw, and I'm drawing so, so light, friends, just like a little light guideline all the way down. And we're doing this because we're drawing our llama with different texture, lots and lots of texture. And it's just gonna be black and white, and so this will kind of guide us on where to put our texture lines. So we just go all the way down, all the way down. Perfect. Now, around his face, I'm gonna draw like a curved line that kind of goes around in a circle around in a circle. So like two lines around the nose too. And then that's where I'm gonna go ahead and stop. And I'm gonna show you how I add in the texture. So with our black marker, we're gonna be doing short straight lines like this. Just kind of following that curve we made. And it just looks so cool to have these short little lines it looks like the fur texture, but it's just a very different way of coloring in our llama. I'm gonna go again on top of that line, all the way around. And I'm gonna go around the outside of that line too. Short little lines. And now I'm going to fill in the other space here with lines that kind of go straight across. So just straight across, again, those little short lines, just filling in the space. And you see, it starts to look really cool, I think. So just these short little lines going along. And he already is starting to look so cute and have some personality. We're gonna do the same thing in the ears as well, just kind of up and down lines. Filling in that space. We're gonna fill in the wild hair with some of these lines too. So these are just little, short, straight lines. Fill in our other ear. And now we're gonna just fill in down here with those straight lines, staying in our little guidelines we gave ourselves. all the way down to the bottom. All right, we are all finished with those wonderful texture lines and these llamas are looking pretty amazing. So I'm gonna slide this handsome guy over here to my left and I'm gonna get another piece of paper. Now, we are gonna be adding a little water to this paper so if you do have a thicker paper, 
that would be best, but we can use whatever we've got. I'm gonna get out different colors of my crayons, all the colors I want, because these Peruvian um, weaving textiles have so many bright colors, just the brightest colors, and they're all woven into different shapes and patterns. So I wanna get out colors that are bright. And I'm using my crayons because this will resist when I add water. Okay, so just kind of going across here, I might draw myself a line here. I'm gonna try to cover my whole paper. So I'm making an area here, and I see in a lot of the patterns are some triangle shapes kind of going sideways. So I make the triangle go that way and this way. It's almost a diamond shape. That's just one line design. You can be doing any line designs you want. This is just what I'm picking for now. So I'm gonna put that on there. And then I see some different color rectangles inside maybe. All right, that is looking pretty cool. And I can grab some other colors and start some other line designs and patterns. So I could take a different color. I could make this section wider if I want. So you're just imagining what it looks like when they have that weaving of those bright colored fabrics. So I see some that look almost like a little pyramid. So I'm gonna go up like this and just do kind of these tall pyramids. And I see others where there's like little square shapes. And maybe I'll color those in. So again, just thinking of different line designs you can be putting in here. You can be totally creative. You can make it simple. You can make it more complicated. That's gonna be your choice. We could have some kind of zigzag lines going this way. So any colors you want to grab, I'm using my crayons because when I add water and marker, this will not move. So this will be the part of my design that really kind of stays put. Another design that I see, so I'm gonna add another kind of layer here. I see almost that kind of wave pattern. So I'm gonna grab a different color and do that kind of wave shape where it goes over and back, over and back. Really any line designs you would like to try, zigzag lines, bumpy lines, curly lines. We're just gonna be adding these in, these line design patterns going across our paper. I think I'm gonna grab my yellow and maybe do kind of a crisscross. And maybe I will do just some straight lines would look cool. So I could have just some straight lines and put some different colors in there. That's looking great. So go ahead and finish covering your whole page with different line designs. Now that we have these great line designs everywhere and I added all the way to the bottom some little rounded squares and some little kind of arrow shapes and some square lines and some different lines. Now, 
you have options. If you have watercolor paint, you could put the watercolor paint here in between the different areas and that's gonna make some bright, amazing colors for your Peruvian textiles. I do not have that right now, so if you're at home, like me, you can grab some markers. And you're just gonna start outlining different area with marker because we know if we add water on top of this marker, it'll give us that cool kind of painted look. So I'm just going to add some marker lines throughout here, some different bright markers. And then when I put water on here, I know it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna have that watercolor effect. All right, I'm gonna grab this red, so I know that's gonna look so beautiful and bright when I add water to it. So I'm just kind of adding some of that marker right on in here. So just where you think you would like to kind of fill it in and then we're going to end up putting water over these lines. I might put it here. There we go. put some of this color here so you're just really going in anywhere there's white space and you're adding some marker and that way when you put water over this it's going to really fill it in I know this bright yellow is gonna look so nice so I'm gonna put that in a lot of my space here and now I'm watching all that white space disappear and I know that's gonna make this look so beautiful when I put my llama in front of it. I think I'm almost ready to grab that water. Now, if you have a paintbrush, that is awesome. That will be the easiest thing to use, but a lot of people do not have a paintbrush at home. So you can get a Q-tip, you can even take a piece of paper towel and roll it up and dip it in water. So that can be another solution if you don't have a paintbrush. I'm gonna add one more little chunk of color just through here. So I'm just adding more line designs filling in these areas that I know I'm gonna add some water to here in just a moment. And like I said, if you have watercolor paint, you could skip this part and just start filling in these areas with your watercolor paint and it will stay in between your crayon lines and look really awesome. Okay. I am ready, so I'm gonna go grab that water and my All paintbrush. Right, I got my little dish of water and my little paintbrush over here, so I'm dipping in just water and I'm adding this here, and wow, I can already see 
the marker starts to move around like paint and starts to fill in and looks so awesome. So I'm just wiggling my brush around over the marker. If you have a paper towel, you'll be doing the same thing, just taking that paper towel or that Q-tip and wiggling it around. Now you don't wanna put a ton of water on here because it's going to probably make your paper rip. So we're just being gentle with a little bit of water over our marker areas. I just love the way it's starting to fill in that space. So just continue adding water on top of your marker and you do want to rinse your brush because I don't want to get my yellow to have all that blue in there so I'm trying to rinse my brush out in the water and then I'm adding the water on top and I can see that wow that's really giving it a painted watercolor look rinsing out my brush and adding a little water I love the way this is turning out bright bright colors This is why washable markers can be so cool because they can double as a paint when you add water to your paper. All right, I'm just adding a little bit more. And then I will be ready to cut out my llama. I set my paper to the side to dry and now it's time to cut out this amazing llama. Now cutting around some jagged lines like this can be difficult so it doesn't matter if there's still some white space here. He's going to look fantastic no matter what. So I'm just kind of doing a little zigzaggy line here and then I'm carefully cutting around his ears. This part can be difficult. Sometimes I kind of chop off the edge that out of my way and then I can go back and do that little detailed area here that can be more complicated. So we cut it out. Again trying to just do my, my very best at a zigzag cut but it's not perfect. He's looking fantastic already. I'm going to cut out that last piece and then he is ready to be glued on to the background. Now we have this amazing Peruvian weaving that we've drawn and we have our finished textured llama. So I'm going to set this over to the side and I'm going to glue on the back. Remember when we glue we don't, don't go totally crazy. We go lightly around the edge. Here we go. All the way around the edge so it sticks down and then just a wiggle squiggle through the middle. And he is prepared for the gluing. I'm going to set this right here in front of me and I'm going to center him the best I can. Wow, I just love the way that turned out and I cannot wait to see the llama that you create. <laughs> 